This is a Tony Hornick sprout grower. Clear plastic dome about 11 inches in diameter. Got a stainless steel basket on the inside, a strainer. And it can be used for sprouting all types of seeds. I happen to do mung beans mostly. I don't think there's an exact science to this. Made a few batches so far. I've probably done this about 20 times so far actually with this particular sprouter. I've used a couple other sprouters for years now, but I'm really enjoying this one. I really like bean sprouts, mung bean sprouts, better than the alfalfa sprouts that I was growing before and the other various things like broccoli. They just taste better to me. The idea here is to give this a rinse with filtered water. So I'll put that in the sink. Some people soak them. I don't even bother. Just give it a rinse. And fill it up so it's just touching the bottom of the seeds. Again, it's not a science. Just don't drown them and make sure you give them enough water that there's enough humidity in there, enough moisture for them to grow. Then you set that on loosely and rinse them twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. And within about two, two and a half days, you will have edible sprouts. The reason I like these edible sprouts so much is because they're so high in vitamins and nutrients. They're high in protein. They grow quickly. It's like having a little grocery store in your house. I eat the sprouts raw. I never cook them because that will diminish the nutrient quality in them. And for an everyday food, I love it. For a survival food, I love it even more. Those are the seeds there. They're rather inexpensive. You can buy these in a sealed package where all the oxygen is taken out, or you can do it yourself. And to me, that's much better food than cans of salty soup and whatnot because the nutrient value in these far outweighs anything that you could store. Anything. I think it's often overlooked as a survival food and I think it's high time a lot more people start talking about it. I mean, it's not everybody's preferred taste. However, in an emergency situation, you don't want to be cracking open low quality food. You want something that's very nutrient dense. And even in everyday life, that's how I choose to eat. But in an emergency situation, you're going to need nutrients that much more going to be stressed out, potentially have a lower calorie intake. These will grow even in the dark, guys. All you need is some water. So, yeah, for everyday use and for emergency situations, sprouting is the deal. So what I'll do is in a few days, like I said, about two, two and a half days, I'll show you what the finished sprout looks like and we'll try some. So here we are two days later. A day and a half I could have eaten them. As soon as they have tails that are as long as the shell you can eat them. Some people like to let them go past this. This is ideal for me. You can see there's the roots. There's some talk about them getting moldy. I've never had an issue. Never, ever, ever. I don't know where that happened, how that happened. Mung beans are amongst the most nutritional of all the, the sprouts that you, or shoots that you can make. This sprouter in particular is really good. I like it. I've had a few different sprouters. This is the one I like best so far. Nice stainless steel basket. Plastic dome. 
every once in a while I just wash it with soap and water like I would a dish in the sink. Not in the dishwasher though, can't take that kind of heat. And like I said, never any mold, never any smell. And I just eat these raw on salads, even by the spoon. Each morning I usually have a spoonful. So there we go. If you don't have any sprouting seeds or kits in your setup now, it's a great idea for food stores. It's also a great idea to start incorporating this into your everyday life. I'm not saying eat sprouts only, because that would be boring. I don't even know if I could do that. But just adding it to your everyday diet, a few tablespoons a morning. So that's a lot of nutrients right there. The other thing is, there's a lot of protein in vegetables that people just, I don't think they're aware of. It's always meat, meat, meat. Meat gives you fats and protein. The fats are the, the big difference to me though. Pro plants give you protein as well. Look at a gorilla. What does a gorilla eat all day? Not other gorillas or, or uh, chimps or fish or anything. It eats plants all day. Same as a bull, same as an elephant. They're definitely getting their protein from somewhere and it's a plant source. So the whole protein thing is a misnomer. Anyway, I'm getting a little off course. I really like sprouting and shoots, especially for emergency preparedness, and it's definitely not talked about enough in my opinion.